Good morning, guys. It is freaking cold in here. Um, I'll tell you the temperature in a minute, but um, I just got off work, as you can tell, and I'm at the place where I'm gonna be sleeping for right now. Um, we have a you know a long day of organizing ahead of us. I want to prepare better for the winter. I want to organize my van a little bit better because I'm getting a little anxiety about the organization in here. Um, I thought I had did a good job, but I feel like I could do better in maximizing the space that I have. So right now I'm gonna take a nap because I'm exhausted. I wanna lay down, kind of decompress for a few hours. And then we're gonna spend the day at Walmart. Um, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna buy some containers uh, at Walmart because I want to open up more drawers. I want to open up more cabinet space just because I just wanna open that up. Um, I feel like I've got stuff spread out too much where I feel like I can focus more stuff um, I can focus all, a lot of my stuff into one central location instead of spreading it out. Um, that's just kind of my thought process. So let me explain it better. So take this cabinet, for example. I have my dishes and stuff in here. I would show you, but I'm still kind of organizing it. I'm still, still trying to build the shelves out in here and uh, get them the way I want. But I have dishes in here. I have uh, another drawer down here that I have like some of my electronics uh, chargers and things, plugs to charge up my phones, to charge up my hotspot, um, things like that in here. And then I have some like dish stuff. I have another drawer right below this one. And I have like, uh, like garbage bags and things like that. I feel like I could do better with organizing everything in this van and centrally locating a lot of my stuff to up there and opening up more drawer space, not only here, but the drawer space in this bathroom. Also, I have cabinets here, one, two, and three. These cabinets are already taken up. It, there's no more space in here. Um, in this one, I have my pillow, and then I have some hoodies for the winter, uh, nicely neat uh, and tucked away. This is basically my winter cabinets. It's got the pillows, the hoodies, uh, my comforter, and then, it's got my zero degree sleeping bag right there. So everything in these cabinets are good. It's, it's sentry located. I'm, I'm pleased with that. Um, I'm happy, but the rest of the cabinets, I'm not, I've got anxiety and I want to just, I'll feel better once I organize it. And it's starting to rain and I love it. So I'm going to take a nap and then we're going to get up where <laughs> Like we're all gonna take a nap together. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a nap and then I'm gonna get up and um, we're gonna go shopping and spend the day at Walmart and get this van together. So I'll see you guys when I wake up from my nap. I feel nice and reset after my nap. Uh, the time is now 12 o'clock. I got about five hours of sleep. Um, I feel better because I, I was just no good early this morning. I, I literally could not hit the ground running after anything. Um, the only thing that was gonna hit the ground is literally me. Um, so right now I haven't been to the track in about a week, just the work week, just busy, exhausted. So I'm gonna hit the track up. Then I'm gonna shower, Walmart for shopping, get some organization done in the van. We may not, get all the organization done today we'll see i'll try then we're gonna make something to eat and that'll be our day so while i'm driving and headed towards uh the track i want to address a couple things um or just bring to light a couple things that I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed. 
van life is 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 for me it's rewarding it's personal freedom to choose when and where you want to live and stay and how long and to travel right but if you haven't noticed already living in a van you're always I'm always on the go I'm always on the move and, and, and I'm never kind of stationary because the van is my house so where I go the van goes my house goes my home goes but if 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 it's something that you can see yourself doing always on the go always on the move then I say go for it but again I'll reiterate before you jump into van life if you're unsure but you kind of want to do it, but you're unsure stay in your car do car life because I've been living on the road since May um, I I love it <laughs> uh, part of that time was in my car while I was looking for an RV and the other half part of that time was living in the RV but just know that you are when you do van life you're always gonna be on the go you know there's always gonna be you know you're always gonna have to try to find a place to sleep because you don't and I'll reiterate this you don't want to stay in the same place more than a couple days you want to move you know and and it is challenging for me sometimes but I've gotten into a rhythm of of of, of knowing where I want to stay how do I find my places to stay and I've shared that with you guys I overlander is a good uh, spot to kind of find organic free spots to say that are free and some that are paid if you want that but the people will tell you where to go I overlander great app harvest house is a great app where you can um, stay at, at places for free as well but you got to pay a yearly membership to be um, to be uh, to, to have access to farms and eight acres of land and restaurants and uh, businesses that people are, are willing to let you stay at for free I just kind of wanted to kind of bring a little bit of reality to forefront that if you do live in a van, if you do live in an RV, you're always going to be on the move. And if it's something that you can see yourself doing, I say go for it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to the track, guys. It's starting to rain. So today, I'm only going to probably do about two to three miles where I usually try to do five or more. I'm really pressed and strapped for time, so time is of the essence. So I'm only going to do a mile and a half. Uh, it's a little past one and time is of the essence since it does get darker faster. Uh, so I'm only going to do a mile and a half today. Uh, I'm not happy about it, but at least I got some exercise in. So I'll see you guys when I get to the vehicle, when I get to my van. <laughs> It's literally about to rain. I'm on a time crunch. Haven't been to Walmart yet. I'm about to take a shower. I'm at the gym. And then I gotta go to Walmart. But I'm, I'll, I might be going to like Dollar Tree or Big Lots, which is probably closer, and see if they have the containers, which would probably be cheaper too. So I'll see you after my shower. Look at that sky. I mean, look at that sky. You cannot tell me that it's not about to rain. I literally need to hurry up. I'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you. So I'm finished with my shower and 
I feel so amazing. I feel really good. Um, it still looks like it's going to rain. And I was going to go to Walmart. I'm trying to think if I should go to Walmart or give Big Lots a try. You know what? Let's go to Big Lots and see what kind of containers they have. Um, and then uh, we'll check out the Dollar Tree since it's in the same area. And if I don't see any of the containers that I want or if they don't have anything that I want, then we'll go to Walmart. But uh, since Big Lots and Dollar Tree's in the area, we might as well go check it out. So let's go check it out, guys. We're going shopping. And now we're about to go in. And now it's starting to rain. Great. Let's go. Big Lots. I love Big Lots. It's like a cheaper version of a Walmart. Maybe it's Walmart's little brother. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. So, I'm tired. I bought my containers and I bought a couple other things. I will show you guys once I get to the place where I'm going to be sleeping for the night. I still have to go to the grocery store and pick up a couple things nothing too much i have pretty much what i need in here to cook but i just want to get one other thing and then i'm gonna go where i'm gonna sleep for the night and uh do a big lots haul and uh start organizing actually let's see if the container fits i, I know it does i'm nervous please let it fit please 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 okay it fits it fits. Yep, it fits. So we'll figure it out. Um, we'll figure it out. Hopefully I didn't get too many containers, but I don't think I did because I have an idea of what I want to do. So the containers fit. It's just going to be a long day of organizing. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to organize in this video or another video. Uh, I'm going to go to the grocery store, grab one thing. I am kind of hungry, but I don't want to cook right now. It's still a bit early. So I might go to McDonald's and grab me some fries. I haven't had McDonald's fries in Lord knows how long. So I might just do that for lunch and then cook me dinner um, tonight. So that's probably what I'll do. But anyways, I will see you guys when I'm on the road. went to Meyer and I bought some plates, more past paper plates. And people, y'all give me, a lot of y'all give me crap about the paper plates. I have paper plates, regular plates. There's just some days where I just don't want to wash dishes. And that's just the reality of it. So I'm going to use paper plates until the end of time. Um, B12, um, good for energy and things like that. Got a water. And I uh, got some Velcro. It holds about 16 pounds. It's going to help me. And then I bought this Panera Bread's mac and cheese. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to eat this tonight. I want to cook, but my energy is so low. I don't know. I literally don't know. So, um... I'm about to leave. I, I'm deciding if I want some french fries for, for lunch or, or not. Let's see if this one's open. And my van won't be able to fit because it's too big. So. Is it open? Yes. And empty. Hi. 
Hi, can I just get a large fry? Mm -hmm. um, that'll be all. It was open and I got my fries and tons of ketchup. Let's go. I should have got a medium. I'm not gonna be able to finish a large. But I paid with the gift card, so I don't feel so bad if I don't finish it. That's why I'm also adamant about coming to McDonald's because I have a gift card. Don't worry, I washed these off, so. That's why I put them in my mouth. I already washed them off. Mm -hmm. Cute little baby running up to McDonald's. So happy they're about to go in. Mm, there you go. When McDonald's fries, you got to eat them right away. Cause if they get cold, it's a wrap. I use bleach wipes to clean this and I just put this, the bleach wipes in my mouth. I hope I don't get sick. Yeah, next time I'll get a medium, I won't be so... You know when you're hungry, you get greedy. This is what I bought at Big Lots, guys. I bought me a new cup. You guys saw that in the store. So all the cups that I do have. These three cups that I do own. I'll be donating these to Salvation Army. I don't care donating it. It'll go to a good cause. Someone else can have them. And this will just be my everyday cup for everything. Uh, it keeps things hot for seven hours and things cold for 18. Um, as much cooking as I do, I bought some measuring cups because I literally do not own any freaking measuring cups. And those were for like a couple bucks. Um, as you saw, I bought a new laundry bag because that laundry bag I do have doesn't really fit everything. I bought a new kitchen set. So all the other uh, kitchen utensils that I have, I'll be donating and uh, just using these three from now on. Less is more, guys. And then I do not own one of these, but I'm so happy I found it. It was the last one at Big Lots. Vegetable and food chopper. So it just, here we go. So I can chop up my walnuts, uh, anything I want to saute it instead of using a knife. So I'm happy for this. This is a really nice addition to my kitchen. And then I just bought these little containers. There's the lids. And I got 10 of them and they're this small and I showed you that in the store so I'll be able to organize everything so kitchenware will go in here you know um, we'll throw the kitchen stuff in here of course we got to take it out but we'll throw the kitchen stuff in here you know 
we'll be able to fit that in there. You see, nice and organized. And that'll be, you know, with a couple of my knives that I have. And then, you know, let's see here. I'll take off, I just wanna see if it all fits in there comfortably. And then we'll do all the bells and whistles later, but you know, all the other kitchenware stuff that I have, I'm donating. Um, with the exception of this, my can opener, I need that. But everything else has got to go. Um, I got a straw. And I got a knife and a fork. And then my spoon is in the sink. I will keep this, of course. I'll keep that. Um, but I do have these. I don't want these. I'll donate that. I don't want that. I'm going to donate that. Um, but this will just be like my primary kitchenware stuff right here. And you see how it all just kind of nicely, neatly fits. And we're just going to put it up there. So, you know, you know what? We can start working on it now. I wish I had a better setup uh, than this, but this is going to have to work for now. Also, let me show you the current temp in the van. Current current temperature in the van is 60. Can you see that? There we go. 69 degrees Fahrenheit. So right now for me, that's pretty. I'm pretty comfortable with that. I'm not going to be too cold with that. But once it starts getting 67, 66, 65, 64, oh my goodness. But right now, I'm comfortable with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring all my stuff down from up there. And then I'm going to start organizing it. And then I'll show you guys once I start putting it back up because right now my tripod is out of commission and I don't know, I just, wait a minute, I do have another tripod, one second. So this is the stuff that I wanna reorganize that I took from up there. So up there is empty with the exception of my mask and things like that and I might even change that out to make it a smaller container. But this is all the stuff I wanna organize up there um, to include the kitchenware that I'll be storing up there as well. So let's see how good my organizational skills are. Oh, and there's my tripod. I do have another one. I forgot I, I've had that tripod for years. So this is the one I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna set you guys up on this one. Don't mind the hot mess, don't mind the hot mess. We're gonna get it together. This is my massage gun. So let's get started. This is what I watch my movies on, my iPad. I'm gonna empty this out. This is what I have like, my like electronics and my GoPro, things like that. And I'm gonna use this as a shower bag. So I got my Bose speaker. And just little trinkets and stuff. This is, you know, headphones, another charger. We're gonna put the, I, the app, the uh, iPod in here for music. And then the watch, the Apple watch will go in here as well. And then we'll just put a little stuff in here. So now this is empty and I can use this for like my soaps, toothbrush and stuff. I can hang it up in my shower area so I don't have it always in my backpack. Okay, we got two containers down. So for just like the sake of clearing out space on this couch, we're gonna put it up there. So let me reposition you guys. There we go. Make sure you guys are straight. You are. <sighs> it's getting a little chilly because I got my window open, but that's how I air out my van too. So we got uh, kitchenware that I will be washing in whatever, but I just wanted to put it in there for the sake of getting it out of there. We're gonna actually take this down for now and just put the kitchenware here. Then this is like electronics and stuff. I'm gonna put that here. Actually, I'm gonna see one second, let's see. Nice. I was able to put them side by side. 
So one in front, like one in the back and one up front. So save space. Let's do another one. So now we have this and we're gonna use this one for our window covers. The ones that I currently have on my front uh, passenger and driver's side window. And for this one, if I decide to take it off, I will store it in here. So that's just window covers. And I will also store my bug zapper in here too. So we'll put this off to the side. I'm also going to put this rodent uh, killer in here. I don't have any rodents. I don't have any mice, but I bought it just because I want to be proactive and not reactive. So I'm going to start storing these in dark corners and dark areas of my uh, van once I get the van set up the way I want. So we're also going to store it in here. So let's refold this. And this is uh, for the front window cover. So we're gonna put the rodent in there. We're gonna put that in there. We're gonna store it like that. And that's it. So now, we're gonna take this stuff out of this shoe box so I can throw it out. And this is just my electronics, um, more electronic stuff, my hotspot, um, batteries, um, just stuff that I need to get, go through. This is my iPhone box. I don't know why I'm keeping it. Let me see if there's anything in it. Um, actually what I can do, let's see. Anyway, this is just the box. This I'm gonna throw this away. I don't need this. Just holding on to stuff. It's a battery that I need. Triple A. Another another iPhone. I don't ever trade my iPhones in, guys. I just keep them because you know ne I never know when I might need them. So I got an i two an iPod and an iPhone. Uh, SE. This is my mic. That I, I, put, I use uh, that is for to charge up my hotspot tire pressure gauge that should go up front in my glove compartment a Gerber that I've had since I was in the military this Gerber is probably at least 15 years old at least so i do use that lighter for my candle i do use that i do have a charger when y'all say i need to get an uh external charger to charge my phone just in case my solar is not charged or i want to be stealth i had this but this wasn't charged so um it's charged now three dots when it's supposed to be four but this does charge my iPhone to almost 100% if not 100% if this is fully charged this is trash this is trash garbage and now we have an electronics box that we use every day Make sure I ain't got up. Oh, let me put my, it's all my stuff I need. All my stuff I need. My watch that I wear every day. This is stuff that I use daily. So I cleared that out. Nice. Now let's put this on it. And now. There's that. Um, I'm gonna put this back here. And then this will go up front. Um, 
this is where my zero degree sleeping bag goes. So I'm gonna fold this up. And put it in here where I will be storing my window covers. So there we go. There's that. I gave you a glimpse of what I'm doing, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up, and then when I'm done, I'll come back on and show you guys the finished results. So I'm finally finished with organizing the top shelf, and I'm about to show you guys. I'm so happy. So I got a lot done. Let me show you. So you see all, this is clear. Got all that stuff done, clear. Um, there's my bug zapper, currently charging it. And the current temperature in the van is 67 degrees. I'm getting nervous because it's, it's steadily dropping. So what have I done? Look how organized that is. That's three containers up front and three containers in the back. For a total of six, for a total of six containers. And then there are my masks, which makes seven. That's my iPad for movies and then my drone. All nice and organized. I'm so, so happy. Now, let me show you what I've done in the bathroom. Or what I'm going to do in the bathroom. So this is my new laundry bag. I can't see through it. Got some privacy. I'm happy about that because, yeah, my clothes are showing through. Um, I've got five containers left. And those five containers are going to go to organizing what's in this uh, cabinet right here, um, which has got my work clothes, my clothes, um, a lot of my toiletries, a lot of my lotions, um, baby wipes, cold shower wipes, everything is in here. We're going to organize all that into these five containers tomorrow, and then I will be done with the van. Um, I'm going to figure out what to do with this. If I can't figure out what to do with it, I might just donate it, but I'm going to figure it out. Um, but on tomorrow's agenda... We'll be taking those containers and organizing everything in here. That's tomorrow's agenda. And also scrubbing these floors here and then scrubbing the floors here and then sweeping the floors here or going to the car wash and vacuuming it. So, and cleaning the stainless steel on the refrigerator and kind of scrubbing the countertops up here. Also, I need to get fresh water because I have dishes. So what I did was, because I don't have water, I took bleach wipes and cleared all these dishes down with the bleach wipes. But I still have to wash it with hot soap and water. So I'm going to um, find some fresh water uh, tomorrow for my tanks. And I'm not going back to that campsite. So, yeah, kind of got turned off by the situation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then for the next hour, I'm going to chill, probably watch a couple of my tv shows that i'm currently watching and i, I notice i always say i'm about to watch a movie but i never tell you the movie or i want to watch my tv show and i never tell you so right now i'm watching all american which i absolutely love it's a football tv show on netflix so i'll probably watch a couple of those and then whenever i say movies i'm i'm either watching a military movie or like a zombie apocalypse movie something to do with zombies or military or action um those are type, my type of uh, movies that i love to watch so i'm gonna hang out for about an hour or so um, and then I'm going to come back on for dinner. So I'll, I'll see you guys in about an hour. Here is the finished results. There we go. Pretty cheesy. I've been eating a lot of cheese lately. And you know what? I'm loving it and I'm loving my life. So here's the cheese. This is hot. 
One second. Let's talk. So, today was just a very long day, <laughs> um, but I'm happy because I got a lot done. Mmm, it's hot. Um, like, I'll reiterate, if you don't know by now, by watching my videos, um, I feel like you guys are cranking in one second. That's better that living in a van has its perks, right? You, uh, your bills are less, no mortgage, you save money, you get to live wherever you want, uh, travel, it's, it's all, it's a home on wheels. Mm. But if you notice, I'm, I'm always moving, you know, always moving. And I wouldn't say I move seven days a week, 24 hours a day, but you know, on my days off, you know, I, I have a lot to do. Um, I move a lot more now than I did when I lived in a house, but I don't mind. I'm so happy with my new organization that I have with those um, containers and I'm really glad that I went to Big Lots and checked instead of going to Walmart because those are like a dollar forty nine per container so pretty cheap I saved a lot of money by going to Big Lots instead of Walmart so I'm gonna sleep in tomorrow. And I'm really disappointed in myself that I only did a mile and a half on the track, but I was just, I was so burnt out, I was so exhausted. I, I'm surprised I did that. I'm really surprised that I was able to muster the strength to do six laps because, man, Here, have a bite, guys. Where, where are my manners? I'm sorry. Take a bite. Look at all that cheese. Take a bite. So, but tomorrow I'm going to try to find a, somewhere where I can fill up on fresh water or just go to Walmart and buy the biggest gallon of jugs that they have to fill up my fresh water on my own. Because I remember reading the comments where someone said that her and her husband went to Walmart, bought a 20 gallon thing of water in a funnel and used it to fill up their fresh water. And I thought that was genius. So I'll see what Walmart has. And if they have something like that, then I'll do it myself. At least I know that the water I'm getting is not contaminated or the funnel's not. Whereas the hoses I get I get paranoid sometimes with those hoses. I I, I don't know, because some pe people can be trifling. I, I can imagine, you know, certain people using a freshwater hose to rinse off their uh, sewage hose. Like, I, I, I'm, yeah, so. I thought about doing a lot of things <laughs> lately. Um, like I told you guys, um, I thought about I really don't need these glasses up close. I thought about getting a hotel for a day, just kind of self-care, pampering myself. Um, I've done that before when I lived in a house. Me, if I do get a hotel, it's not because I need a break from van life. No, I freaking love my life and I love van life. It's just sometimes I do that, excuse me, as a way of pampering myself, spoiling myself, you know. So, I haven't decided if I'm going to do it. I'm off the next four days. Off today and then four more days. So, if I do do it, it'll be for one day. And then, I thought about going to the movies. I 
there's a lot of good movies out and i've been in the movies by myself many times like it doesn't bother me but it's been a long time since i've went but when i was on my movie kick i've been in movies other time solo solo movies Gosh, I'm so tired. You like the one thing the body can't do is catch up on sleep. Once you miss all of that sleep and what at whatever day or days, your body can't recover and catch up. And it's starting to take a toll on me. definitely starting to take a toll on me this is just the sani water with um crystal light flavoring this is my favorite well one of my favorites i have several that i like and there's no caffeine in that one no nothing at zero everything so when I drink so much water, sometimes I just need help getting the rest of the water down. And then I just flavor it. There's always so much water I can drink without being like, I need flavor. If you're eating with me, whether it's a snack, lunch, breakfast, or dinner, let me know in the comment box down below what you're currently eating. Because I'm sure it's better than what I'm eating. I love to cook but my current situation um is not allowing me i mean i could cook but i don't want to because I, I can't clean my dishes and i just cannot no and i'm tired <laughs> i think this is the slowest i've ever eaten on this channel and for those of you that are new and always want and watch my videos and be like, man, she eats fast. She doesn't even chew her food. She just swallows it. She eats so freaking fast. Wow. Why is that? Well, I'm prior military. And when I was in the military, that's what it is. That's it. That's what we did. Everything was hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We even had to hurry up and wait. Think about that. So it never left me. I want food. Not I'm done. So I'm done for the night. I um I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'm so oh my gosh. Let me show you what I'm wearing to bed. What is the current? Let's do, let's check out the current temperature in my van. The current temperature is sixty-five degrees. There's my thermometer. It's so cold in here. So this is what I'm wearing to bed: socks, my sweatpants. Um, because I know when I wake up in the morning, it's not going to be sixty-five. It's probably be closer to like it's going to be in like the 50s i'm not and i'm wearing this hoodie so that is my bed attire that's what i'm wearing to bed i'm freaking cold down at 65 i'm freezing i'm scared for the winter time family i'm so scared guys but i'm ready i'm telling you i'm gonna be with my zero degree sleeping bag my comforter my hoodie, my sweats, my socks, and I have heat. I'm going to be using my heater. So, um, and then I, I, I'm not naive to think that on days where it's super, 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 super cold, like dangerously cold, I'll get a hotel. You know, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, those are some of the options. And I'm definitely going to be staying at campsites during the winter. Um, so I'll have constant heat, shower, running water hot water all that good stuff so anyways it's time to go to bed 
thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I always enjoy your guys' company. Um, I love this lifestyle. Uh, living on the road isn't for everybody. It does take a certain kind of someone to be able to live full time in a van, an RV, a car. It takes a certain kind of person and I'm that person. I've always, like I said, I've always been a loner and an introvert. I'm never the life of the party, but this is the life I love and I'm so happy that I'm starting now. So, it's time to go to bed. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace out. Peace.